Good morning, everyone. Tuesday, the 28th of September. It seems ages since I last shared with you, and I've certainly missed not being able to do that, um, having been away and then with uh, Synod of Bishops and Provincial Synod, the whole of last week was taken up with meetings early morning until often quite late in the evening. But I'm back, at least for this week, because next week I am away again. Um, September is always very much a very busy time of the year, and this year even the beginning of October. I was struck in the reading from Morning Prayer, 2 Chronicles, uh, chapter 30. It speaks of the King Hezekiah. Um, and, and we must just pause and say that so many, if not the vast majority of the kings of Israel and Judah, remember the, the nation of, of Israel had split into two ten tribes in the north who called themselves Israel and just two tribes. Um, Judah and Benjamin down in the south, and they called themselves Judah, centered around Jerusalem. And so many of these kings had just literally turned their back on God. They thought that they could do it their way, that somehow they no longer needed God. Well, for Israel, that was not a good decision at all, because those ten tribes literally disappear. They are captured by the Assyrians and taken away and they simply disappear. But Hezekiah is one of the outstanding kings who remains loyal to God, who tries his best. Uh, he's not perfect. Not even David or Solomon were perfect. Neither you or me are perfect. But Hezekiah tried his best and he reintroduced the Passover festival, got people to to gather in, in Jerusalem, we read in Scripture 2 Chronicles 30 that not everyone came. Some mocked and scorned what he was trying to do. But those who came and Hezekiah who brought this all together, uh, this was acknowledged by God. Their prayers were heard in heaven. They tried their best to do the right thing. And that for me stuck out in the reading. And it seemed to me that you and I, in all of our imperfections, and we're not here to denigrate ourselves, but to just be realistic, but nevertheless to try our best. And so that for me is the message for yourself, myself today, and for the rest of this week. Are we trying to do the best? We know it may not be perfect, uh, but let's not use that as an excuse to then lower the standards, to drop the barriers, to remove the boundaries. Let us have those boundaries, those barriers. Let us do the best we can to worship God, to acknowledge Him as the only God, the one and only God who sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to us, that whoever calls on Him and believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. A religion, not a religion of works where God judges us by our perfection, but He judges us by our heart and our confession on our lips because of that belief in our hearts of who the Lord Jesus is and that God exists. So folks, try your best this day and every day and God will recognize it. He will count it as righteousness because God is aware of everything. And let me just conclude and say to you, read Psalm 139. It was also part of the reading today. And we spoke about that um, some few months back. But read Psalm 139. This God who knows everything. He will care for you. So folks, have a wonderful day and we'll chat again tomorrow. God bless.